People often say that vote bank politics is easy, but this idea is far from truth. It's difficult to chalk out the demands of identity groups that the politicians wish to target. If somehow that task is completed, the next problem is finding another issue. Because the umbrella of development encompasses everyone, parties often resort to worshipping historical figures to seek votes. Even on that front, Congress is turning out to be a massive failure. Hi and welcome to TFI Post. I'm your host Atul Mishra. If you're watching us on YouTube, please subscribe and press the bell icon to get all the latest updates. If you're watching us on Facebook, do like, share and follow the page. Let's begin. Few days ago, Prime Minister Narendra Modi gave another gift to Bangaloreans. He unveiled a massive 108 feet long statue of Nada Prabhu Kempegowda. Kempegowda was a chieftain of Vijayanagar Empire. He is also credited with laying the foundation of modern day Bengaluru in the 16th century. Fittingly, the statue is known as Statue of Prosperity. It is conceptualized and sculpted by Ram V. Sutar, who sculpted the Statue of Unity. The statue is built with 98 tons of bronze and 120 tons of steel. Of course, the idea would not sit well with the opposition parties. To counter the statue, Congress is planning to install a 100-foot statue of Tipu Sultan. It was announced by senior Congress MLA and former minister Tanvir Said. Tanvir is planning to call a meeting to sort out the legal and other regulatory hurdles in the way of installing tyrant Tipu's statue. The Congress MLA is so stern that he is ready to defy guidelines of Islam for Tipu. Islam does not permit establishing statue, but enthusiastic Tanvir does not care. And why should he care? He has support from possibly the biggest leader of Karnataka Congress, Siddharamaiya. The former chief minister of state was asked about the opposition to Tanvir's proposal by Sriram Sena chief Pramod Mutalik. Siddharamaiya opined that BJP twists history and Tipu deserves a statue. Frankly, what Tanvir is doing is nothing more than a political stunt as the man has been caught disrespecting Tipu Sultan in the past. A Tipu Jayanti function was organized in Raichur in 2016. Tanvir was also present there. Interestingly, while people were busy commemorating Tipu, Tanvir was busy watching porn on his mobile phone. Clearly, it does not have an ounce of respect for Tipu. He is not wrong though. No one in their right mind would respect that kind of a person. Tipu Sultan was a religious fanatic and a dictator who attempted the ethnic cleansing of Kodavas and other Hindu communities of southern India. Even Karnataka High Court has refused to term him as a freedom fighter, the favorite phrase of Marxist historians to describe Tipu. Kannadigas know about Congress's push to declare Tipu as secular and modern. Deep inside, Kannadigas hate Tipu Sultan more than maybe any leader whom they believe imposes Hindi over them. People of Karnataka are well aware of all this. That is why when Girish Karanad proposed to rename Kempegowda Airport as Tipu Sultan Airport, he even received death threats. The man had to apologize, a rare sight in modern day narcissism driven politics. Because simply can't replace Kempegowda from their heart. He was the one who built Bengaluru by erecting towers at four corners of the city. He provided financial as well as military assistance to people settling there. Kempegowda is credited with building 1000 lakes in the city for drinking and agricultural needs of Bangaloreans. Bangaloreans have commemorated him well by naming the international airport, a bus stand, the main metro station and even a road after him. Congress is making a futile attempt by trying to push Tipu against him. They are only withering away with whatever credibility Tipu has left in the eyes of unaware Karnataka citizens. BJP may or may not get the votes of Vokka Ligas through the statue, but Congress will definitely lose Hindu votes if they continue to side with a hateful tyrant like Tipu. 